we're going to be talking about most anticipated 2024 movies. So we put together this list based on what we are most looking forward to seeing. Um, there's a lot of other movies out there, but we wanted to talk about these ones that really get us jazzed and really tickle our feathers. If starting off, we're talking about Mean Girls, the 2024 version. Chris, I want to know your thoughts on this. I want you to predict what this is going to be like. I will say I enjoy the original Mean Girls. You know, you got... Lindsay Lohan, Brie Cokes, you got Rachel, you got it's you got a star-studded cast. I'm curious to see. I'm a little confused how it's going to work out because you got some of the cast from the original. Um, Tina Fey, I believe, is in it, and the principals in it, and but then you also obviously got different actors. And I will admit the musical part of it. I never the only musical that I that really you know gets me going is The Greatest Showman. And nothing else has really lived up to that. What are your thoughts, Steve? Chris, I couldn't agree more. You know, uh, The Mean Girls 2004 is a sacred text to me. You know, it's a it's a cult classic for a reason. It released just the right time. Uh, Lindsay Lohan, half of her game, if you ask me. But, uh, yeah, no, this one's not looking too optimistic. Um, so if, if we're going to be predicting ranking based on our opinions, I'm going to be putting Mean Girls just right here at C. Uh, yep. Don't don't hate it, but I respect the source material, material enough to call it C. I agree with you. Uh, moving on, this next one is just as I can predict, it's going to be a crime against humanity. Madam Web, what are your thoughts on this one? Well, let me ask you, what was the last good Marvel movie in your humble opinion? Well, this is this is Sony Marvel, so it's different than like the MCU. Good point. When was the last good Sony? The uh, answer the answer is never to that question i think it's from venom on so like venom one venom two you got your morbius you oh, got your did you see morbius i did i forced my wife to see it in the theater and she never forgave me well i i haven't uh, got around to it well yeah i'm guessing it'll probably be similar to that yeah except worse <laughs> worse does it have any uh do you know any characters that's in it or is it just madam web and whatever weevils into that i know it's, it's got, got 50 shades girl it's got 50 shades girl it's got a whole host of, oh it's got adam scott our boy adam scott really that's your boy adam scott in there yeah oh, he's playing uncle ben oh that means there's an aunt may it means there's a chance which means there's a peter which means there might be a Flash Thompson. All right, all right. So is Madam Web going to be a multiverse, one of those things? Is that um, what's going to happen here? Probably. Is a, I'm going to be honest. I, I'm just sick of it. I like the last Spider-Man, obviously. It was great. But other than that, I'm sick of it. I'm just, I'm bloody sick of it. So with that being said, I'll put that D. boy right down there. All right. Glad we're <laughs> in agreement here. This one. Ooh, this one I'm actually, probably my most anticipated movie, and that is Dune Part 2. Have you seen the first one? I did see the first. I will preface, I, I never read the books, knew nothing about it. Danny V, who probably in my top three directors these days. Working, oh, for you sure. Know, oh, for sure. Big fan. I liked all of his. I will say, I was a little disappointed in the, the first one. Mm -hmm. Just because you get to trailers, it makes you think there's a bunch of Zendaya... <laughs> <laughs> you see her for 15 minutes and uh felt like it ended like it wasn't a nice ending saying that i i am excited to watch dune part two i'll have to rewatch the first one because i don't remember anything but i always when people ask me uh, if they should watch the first dune i always recommend it i'd wait till the next part comes out and then mm -hmm. watch them together just because it's it's just kind of a frustrating solo film Could, couldn't but, agree uh, more couldn't agree more I, but I agree. I th I, I'm excited for it. Yeah, no, Dune Part 1 was great. I'm looking forward to Part 2. It's got Christopher Walken, which he's never been in an uninteresting movie, at the least. And That yeah. 1980s Puss in Boots was a great flick. <laughs> I'm going to put that right here on A. This next one, one I'm pretty excited about, and that is Godzilla X Kong The New Empire. Have you seen any of those movies? I was actually very excited for the last... Uh... Godzilla vs. Kong. I it, it kind of disappointed me a bit, not going to lie. Did you enjoy um, the last one? Uh, when I shut off part of my brain that was responsible for logic, I had a good time. It had big monsters punching up on each other, and that's the definition of escapism for me. I love Kong. I, I love me. King Kong, Kong School Island. I, I'm a huge fan of the primal ape. Godzilla, I enjoy as well. Not as much as Kong. I, don't, I just remember feeling let down a bit. 
But you know, you know what the problem was, and I think this yeah. problem with all these monster movies is the human element. I the agree. human characters are always the worst part. One, the last one had Millie Bobby Brown, if I recall. The Dashia, the Basha. Paperboy from Atlanta, and oh, yeah. uh, if it were up to me, and if I could choose, I would just have the fighting bits of the big dumb monsters for, and it would be a forty-minute movie, no humans in it. I, I I like that. Do like a like a dog's purpose, but with Kong here, just uh, <laughs> yeah. homeward bound, if you will. Mm-hmm. Is there uh, any known actors slash actresses in this film? Or I think it's got Coach from Friday Night Lights in it. And same, um, same oh, crew, huh? you know who it's got? Um, Rebecca Hall and the worst haircut of 2024. I'm calling it now. But this uh, one, it's beyond um, atrocious. Her haircut. With that being said, I'm. Uh, what do you think? Predicting this one? Yeah, I would say it's above Mean Girls, below Dune. So right, Mean I'd Girl. say B. Are you with me there? Absolutely. That's a good. That's that looks good. Next one we have, and we haven't seen any trailer or promo material for it, but it's a John Wick spinoff, Ballerina. Yes. This one looks, just from the description, I'm a big fan of John Wick's movies. I think there's too many of them, but I think they're all good. I Um, disagree with you. Did you see John Wick 4? Yeah. It's better than the rest. They could, I, guess I, I guess I don't remember it much. But. I think you need to keep churning these out like Fast and the Furious here. I want John Wick in space. I want him in China. I want him uh, in Atlanta. <laughs> he, was already in, he was already, or I guess Tokyo. He was in Tokyo. Yeah, but. come on. Don't be racist here. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this one looks good. I think she's a really good actress. She was in 007. That was really good and uh, loved her in uh, Knives Out. So I'm going to put this as a as a B on the same level as those. Is other that two. The, the main maid from Knives Out or who is that? Yeah. Yeah. Ah. This one I'm cautiously optimistic about because I actually really loved Mad Max yes! Fury Road. That's awesome. But this one I'm not too sure about. It's Furiosa. The Mad Max saga. Mad Max Fury Road. That's an S for me. It's oh, it's a it's absolutely. a great film. Now this one, yeah, I'm a little skeptical in the sense of what made Mad Max so good is it's just like a constant chase, which I don't really know how you would make a movie doing that again as a prequel. It's got to be something different, or yeah, because like, it can't be the same thing. Because we already did. The best version of that. I think this one's going to be pretty good. Uh, I wouldn't go. I'd go B. I hope it's better. I like because I, right. I really like George Miller. I'm a huge fan of Happy Feet. If I'm being honest. <laughs> Is that who directed Mad Max? Absolutely. Yeah. Did you know that? I didn't. Well, but that gives know. me more hope. But what else right? did he direct? Uh, He's just into see. penguins and. He almost directed a Justice League movie. Nothing else, huh? Oh, he did Babe. Ugh, you're not helping me. So he just did kid <laughs> movies, and he's like, you know what, let's jump on to Mad Max here. Thanks for watching these highlights from our episode of the Stale Popcorn Podcast. If you want to listen to the full episode, click on the link in the description. Please like, share, and subscribe, and if you do that with your favorite YouTuber, I'm sure they would appreciate it too. Thanks, and have a great day.